My name is Detective Anthony, A-N-T-H-O-N-Y, Nelson, N-E-L-S-O-N. I'm a detective with the Austin Police Department Homicide Unit. Um, I appreciate you all coming out today. The reason why we're here is because uh, of an ongoing investigation, the ongoing murder investigation of Darian Longoria. Uh, Darian's body was uh, recovered back in this location uh, in January of this year. Um, and we have the Austin Police Department Homicide Unit has been uh, working to uh, solve his murder case. Uh, with the assistance of the FBI uh, Safe Streets Task Force, we have uh, received uh, information uh, on numerous occasions from numerous individuals that has led us back to uh, this location so that we can continue to search and uh, act, upon, uh, act upon the information we've been receiving. Um, we know for a fact that Darian was the victim uh, of this murder that was uh, brought on by a gang here in Austin, a street gang, and um, we are uh, actively ensuring that uh, this doesn't happen again. What are the difficulties that are going to be in the search in this remote area? Well, obviously, we have, uh, when Darian was found, he was found in, in January, and in January, the brush isn't as uh, as high as, as it was as it is now. If you look uh, behind me, um, we have uh, a bunch of our agents back there uh, with the FBI and with the Austin Police Department, and they're actually going through the overgrown brush now. Uh, it's much more difficult. We've got to deal with the insects and in the, in the brush. What made y'all come back out now and do this? Um, we are having conversations. We're talking to individuals uh, that were involved, uh, not necessarily in the murder, but within the gang. Um, and I can tell you that I, I've had uh, Darian's mom go before the media before, and that has brought up people that were involved in this gang to come and, and say something. And as that's helped out, we're getting more and more information. And uh, uh, so we have to come out today. We had to come out today because of the information that we've been receiving. Do you still think there's a chance you'll find evidence back there? Oh, uh, there's always a chance. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma like I said, the uh, uh, this is the best uh, shot you can get because uh, unless when we leave, you're willing to trek through this whole mess um, or just above if you had an ability to have someone pass over because our people are out there um, and you know, doing our job. Um, I can tell you that we have uh, agents from the FBI and uh, detectives with the Austin Police Department that are assigned to the Safe Streets Task Force with the FBI that are out here. I can't give you an, uh, uh, the actual amount, the exact amount of individuals that are here, investigators. You spoke when you said that you guys know for a fact that this is a I, what I can tell you is that when more than one person commits a crime, that means someone's going to talk. It always happens. If one, more than one person commits a murder, I don't care how tight these guys think they are together, they're going to talk. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're all talking to us. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Um, it all depends on, well, now that you're trying to get me going to what I'm looking for, that's very smart. Um, I believe it's, it's, it's likely. I believe the thing, the items that we're looking for, it's likely that we will, we can find them out here still. You're talking about weapons, things, clearly metal, things along those lines? Again, I'm not going to say exactly what we're looking for, but I believe that the items, that items, the, the items of evidence that we're looking for will still be. I know when this whole thing first broke, there there was the talk that maybe they, the, the people who killed him were thought he was um, involved with drug robberies. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, so those that the drug robberies, the the uh, the drugs in itself, it all relates to the gang, the gang that uh, Darren was not necessarily a part of, but he was around.
So you're saying he was not a member of this gang? I'm not saying he was a member of this gang. I'm saying he was around this gang. He was uh, an associate of this gang. Was he dealing drugs? Uh, that I cannot uh, answer for a fact. So I'm not going to say that information. Uh, no, I can't. Because we still have, we're still talking to people. And the people that were involved, they know. And those are the people that are telling. We know if they're telling us the truth, if they're telling us the exact information. Why, why is this case so important and important to get it solved? And I know, of course, every case is important to get solved, but this one in particular. Well, I'll, I'll tell you right now, um, this case uh, has to do with a 16-year-old boy that grew up in Austin. And I, I personally grew up in Austin. I was a 16-year-old boy in Austin. And I know that sometimes 16-year-old boys do dumb things. They just do. They shouldn't have to, uh, their life shouldn't be ended. And this is, this is obviously the, uh, the personal side. Um, their life shouldn't be ended for stupid mistakes. Their life shouldn't be ended. Um, I wish I would have known Darian before he uh, was murdered because I, I could have been able to pull him aside and say, hey man, look, this is the only way this ends. This does, it, stu doing stupid things like this, this is the only way it ends. And it's important for people in Austin to know that just because this kid was, did something stupid or was hanging around with, uh, with individuals that were uh, not good for him, he was murdered. He was treated like, like trash. And the people that are responsible for that, they still, they're gonna have to answer for it. They, they're committing these crimes, they're involved in this gang, and they're gonna have to answer for exactly what they did. Do you feel like this gang has done other violence in the Austin absolutely. area? Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. And a lot of times people, they think about Austin and they don't necessarily think about gang activity or gangs in Austin. How big of a problem? Well, I can't answer exactly how big of a problem gangs are because I work in the homicide unit. Um, I can tell you that Austin is a big city. It's not a small town like when I was a kid. It's not a small, sleepy college town. Um, we all see it around us with the traffic. You know, Austin's a big city and it has big city problems. Now, with that being said, it's not as bad as other places could be because, you know, we have a very young, mostly educated town. Uh, the FBI got involved uh, within, they, uh, uh, not always, they have not always been involved, but they've been, they have been involved uh, for quite some time now. The, uh, the gang connection is, uh, is some, one of the reasons why uh, the Safe Streets Task Force from the FBI got involved, yes. How's Darian's mom doing? Um, she's a strong woman. Darian's mom is a strong woman. She actually, uh, her and I have conversations quite often, and um, it's unfortunate because I can't give her information about what's going on in the case. Um, but um, she's a strong woman, and she's, uh, you know, she's very helpful. Um, and looking forward to the day when her her son receives the justice that he deserved. Something more at stake here, sir, that warrants the FBI's involvement, other than obviously solving the murder of the Well, the FBI's involvement is warranted because.